The most important role that NSERC's Engage program and the College University I2I programs have played is in developing a new research culture. Between the three groups involved, the industrial, the college, and the university partner, we can address all the research challenges needed to bring these technological ideas to fruition. Over the last 15 years, Federated Co-op has been spending a lot of time and effort trying to find better ways to clean up contaminated sites. These are properties that were former petroleum facilities, gas stations, uh, bulk plants, etc., and find ways to clean up the soil and groundwater impacts of these properties through uh, biostimulation techniques where we can uh, add phosphate and other trace nutrients and actually encourage microorganisms to convert the contaminants into water and carbon dioxide. You really have two options once a soil is contaminated. One of those is to dig it up and to place it in a landfill. The other one is to try to decontaminate it and remediate it. The least disturbance, the least expensive, and the one that's the most satisfactory is to do the remediation in place. If you can get nutrients to the microbes to make them break down things and metabolize them as fast as possible, then you can shorten the time for remediation and you can improve the environmental outcomes. These sites, because they're surrounded by buildings and they have a lot of utilities running underneath them, such as water, sewage, electrical, uh, we have to make sure that we don't interrupt those services for the people nearby. So if we can remove it in situ, uh, it's much better than the old method. Our biological remediation processes that we've been working on now really stem back to work that we started over five years ago. That contaminated site work uh, really needed though to be taken to a higher level. And in order to do that, we needed to involve researchers at the University of Saskatchewan. NSERC, through its Engage uh, process, was able to help us explore with Federated how an academic research team can complement a company's R&D team. Those successful engages led us to a series of research projects through the college university I2I program that allowed Federated to continue to explore with us and other companies and other colleges how the entire research spectrum can be brought together to solve technologies. You know, NSERC has been critical to the work that we're doing right now. We were able to do quite a bit on our own. But without the support of NSERC, there's no way we would have had access to the researchers, the facilities, and the equipment that we need to do the work in order to accomplish our goals. We have access now to some of the best facilities in the world. We have access to some of the brightest minds in the world. We work at the Canadian Light Source, which is a synchrotron and gives us the ability to look at soils at the molecular scale and determine exactly what minerals, what organic matter forms. So there are some academic fundamental science questions there that the, the researchers here at the University of Saskatchewan and at the Canadian Light Source are able to apply their expertise to solving. So from that standpoint, uh, NSERC facilitates that at all levels. Working with Dr. Siciliano, uh, Steve realized there was an opportunity to involve SIAST to bring more of a practical element to the research so that we could develop better ways to study these sites and better ways to actually monitor the groundwater and soil conditions of these facilities. It seemed like a natural fit. The ability to apply research and the assistance from NSERC uh, in projects such as the College University I2I will help us um, be able to educate the students, give the students the needed experience, exposure to new technologies, and also down the road will benefit the economics of Canada by providing highly trained, highly qualified personnel. Formerly, I was a graduate student at the University of Saskatchewan. And my supervisor was Dr. Steve Siciliano, who works uh, in research with Federated Co-op. My research at the university has given me a risk-based knowledge that allows me to look at a site and determine if the risk is real. The NSERC funding that Steve has had in the past has been instrumental in expanding the laboratory that he has. 
It allowed him to buy the instrumentation that he has in the lab and to be a top-notch facility in detecting and analyzing different compounds. What's important to recognize is that every member of the research consortium brings important skills and approaches to the process. And these new NSERC programs are allowing us to explore this and hopefully push our applied science directly to technological innovation. A lot of the work that we're doing now is being reviewed by other researchers around the world. And we believe that other researchers in different countries will likely take the work that we've started with and take it to the next level as well. So in many ways, the research that we start with the university and with NSERC's assistance continues to grow, continues to build upon the science for future years to come.